This video tells you about the coronavirus vaccine. It answers some questions from HFT's Voices to be Heard group. My name is Victoria from the Voices to be Heard Speak Out group. Can you tell us about what the vaccine is and what it does? So the coronavirus vaccine is for a virus called COVID-19, which is making a lot of people very poorly at the moment. The vaccine helps your body to recognise the virus and if you become infected, it will stop you from becoming very poorly. The vaccine doesn't stop you from giving the virus to other people. It's a very safe vaccine and has been thoroughly tested. The vaccine doesn't contain any animal products or eggs and is safe to have if you are vegan. Many religious and faith leaders are asking people to get the vaccine. Will the vaccine give me COVID-19? No, the vaccine doesn't contain any live virus. It just helps your body to recognise what the virus looks like and defend itself against the virus. Which vaccine will I have? So there are several vaccines available at the moment. All have been approved in the UK. Unfortunately, you won't get a choice of which vaccine you might get. However, the doctor or nurse will ask you some questions at your appointment or ask your support staff if you prefer to see if there is one vaccine which is safer for you to have. Am I safe when I have had it? You'll need to make sure that you have both doses of the vaccine. Even though you've had your jab, other people not, might not have and you could still pass the virus on to other people without knowing. Can everyone have it? Most people can have the vaccine. However, there are some people who have specific allergies or are taking certain medications which prevent them from having the vaccine at this time. The government is currently prioritising different people based on their age and clinical vulnerability. Do I have to have it? It's not compulsory. You're not forced to have the vaccine. It's not the rules. Uh, and you will always be asked if you, if you want to have it. You may be asked to sign a consent form or speak to a doctor or nurse who will talk to you about whether you want to have the vaccine. Is it bad if I choose not to have it? It's fine if you choose not to have the vaccine, but you won't be protected and could become very, very poorly from the virus. It may mean that you also pass the virus on to other people who could get poorly. So Stuart, you've had your vaccine, haven't you? Yeah. How was it? It was all right. Um, it's okay. And it doesn't hurt. Well, how do you feel about having the vaccine yourself? Me? I'm definitely going to have it. Because I think it will improve my confidence. And also it will improve my safety around others that who I live with and the people I see out in the community. What would you say to me if I said, Terry, I'm feeling really nervous about it? You'd only be nervous. When you're done, you can go again. You'd be proud. How do you get an appointment to have it? You will be contacted by your GP practice or by the NHS, and they will invite you to an appointment either at your GP surgery or at some other places such as football stadiums or local hospitals. You don't need to call the NHS to book your appointment. They will call you. What happens when I have it? You will be asked to come to a specific appointment and you need to make sure you turn up on time. Don't come too early and don't come too late because there are lots of people that need to have the vaccine. When you get there, you'll be welcomed and be signed in. You'll be then taken to an area to talk to someone about the vaccine and give your consent. Then you will go and see the doctor or nurse who will be giving you your vaccine. The vaccine is given in the arm and is given as an injection. You then may have to spend some time after the injection waiting around uh, just in case you have any allergy to the vaccine. So how did they give you the injection? In the top of my arm here. Yeah. And it didn't really hurt. No? no. 
it's worth doing. Yeah. Because obviously no one wants COVID, and it doesn't really hurt. It, it it's just like a sharp scratch. Yeah. What happens after you have had it? After you've had the vaccine, you may get a sore arm because you've had an injection. You also may feel a bit feverish and may feel a bit like you have flu or cold symptoms. This is completely normal. However, if they become too severe or too much for you, speak with someone such as NHS 111 or your support worker if you need further support. You don't need to isolate after you've had the vaccine. However, if you come into contact with someone who has tested po positive for COVID-19, you will still need to isolate. You will also need to isolate if you develop symptoms yourself of COVID-19. So a continuous new cough, a loss of taste or smell, or a high temperature. Do I have to have a second injection? It's really advised that you get both doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. This makes sure that your immune system is fully prepared and is able to prevent you from becoming very poorly from COVID-19. If you're poorly when it's time for your second vaccine, you will need to wait until you are better. You may need to contact your GP surgery or the NHS to rearrange your appointment. How long does it protect me for? At the moment, the scientists and the doctors aren't quite sure how long protection lasts with the vaccine, but we know that it can last for a good amount of time. What about fake information about the vaccine? If you're worried about fake news or information that you've read on, on the internet, speak with your support worker or speak with your GP or nurse who will be able to give you some information about the vaccine. There are good websites like keepsafe.org.uk which can help you to understand some more information about the COVID-19 vaccine. And what are you looking forward to doing when the pandemic has died, it sort of died down? What are you looking forward to doing? I love what want to do in dancing. Um, and get the party started. <laughs> Um, uh, keep safe, keep alert, stay at home.